Hi, this is Brent with Production Expert. In this video, I'm going to be showing you how I'm using Luna's brand new API 2500 bus compressor on my drum bus, as well as on my main output. I'm going to be dialing in two different types of compression scenarios, and then I'm going to also look at some of the presets that come with the 2500. Let's play the drums and we'll start tweaking. So I'm just going to start off with everything at roughly 12 o'clock because that's a good starting point. I'm going to use the old tone shaping feedback. I'm going to set this to a normal thrust and a soft knee. Bring the threshold up a little bit more. And then what I can do is I can bring back the mix control a little. Let's hear before and after. So it definitely is controlling some of the main peaks and it's actually giving it a bit more of a cohesive sound really, really quickly. Let's have a listen if we were to do a little bit more heavy handed approach using some of those tone features. So I'm going to go to the new feed forward mode and I'm going to put the detector circuit into loud thrust. We can hear the pumping going on a lot more. And I'm going to give it a hard knee. And I'm going to bring the threshold up higher. Now I'm going to bring my mix back. To dial it in in a parallel mode. I'm going to bring my gain up. Let's do it before and after. Okay, let's head over to our main output and again I'm going to put another instance of the 2500 on but I want to look at some of the presets that come because we do get quite a few from some really legendary mix engineers so it's worth diving in to see what these are like. Let's start off with this mix bus preset from Vance Powell and we'll just have a listen to all of the tracks going through the main out. <laughs> I actually like the Push It Mix Bus preset the most, and as we can see, it's backed off to 60% on the mix control here, but there's some really quick presets there, which will get you definitely part of the way there, if not all the way there. So the 2500 is really easy to use, really easy to learn, and you sort of can't go wrong with it in a way. It's just such a fantastic sounding bus compressor, and I hope you found this useful, and I'll see you in the next video.